internet hell, John Ray. So I finally have my hands on the lustrous, nudgy lustre XBYS collection. And you know what, guys? I'm so excited because you know what? I'm actually wearing the collection right now. So make sure you watch till the end of the video because two things. You're gonna hear my thoughts on what products I would recommend, what products I, you know, wouldn't recommend. <laughs> also, I'm hosting a giveaway at the very end of the video and it's gonna be intense. And the giveaway is intense. In case if you guys are new to my channel, of course, make sure you don't forget to subscribe down below, curl. Don't forget to like this video, curl. And also don't forget to comment down below. Let's get into the review, okay? So here it is, the lustrous Nadine X BYS Nadine Lustre collaboration. Oh my god, I'm like so excited because you know what? For packaging, I give them like an A plus for packaging because you can like see the details. Like this is like this is like glam meets tropical vibes very very filipina i love it it's so cute before i start na pala, i just want to also do a disclaimer i know when it comes to celebrity makeup there are always two sides or two types of audience of course we have the makeup uh, consumers out there that who are interested in trying the product also, we have the fans, which is Nadine's fans, including myself, because I love Nadine talaga. Nadine, mahal kita, pero I will give my whole honesty to my viewers, okay? If there are products here that wouldn't work for me, and if it works for you, then that's amazing. But that's my personal opinion. This doesn't hurt, you know, BYS company. This doesn't hurt Nadine in any way. I mean, look at Nadine. She is living, girl. I just want to put that disclaimer out there, just in case if you guys would disagree with me, then that's fine. We have our own opinion. We have our own thoughts, but... That's just my side, okay? So now that's out of the way, um, let's actually look at the products that I got. So when you order this, um, ooh, it's so pretty. So there's actually a note here from Nadine. Obviously, it's print out, but I'm going to read it anyway. Thank you for starting your beauty journey with me. I hope you enjoy every color and shimmer of the limited edition collection. As much as your love and support inspired me to create it for you. Oh. Nadine, yes, girl, but I'm kind of gender long. Inside the box, of course, you get the receipt. So, this is the receipt, and they have prices. So, I bought the Lustrous Makeup Set. This is for 2,999 pesos. And oh, eyeshadow palette in Calypso. This is $7.99, girl. And I also bought Lustrous Lip and Cheek in Vermilion. Actually, I bought some extra items for the giveaway, but actually, you know what? Lustrous was very nice enough to send free products. Actually, I didn't order the bronze and highlighting um, palette, but actually, it's it's here, which is crazy. Then there's also one free vermilion lipstick, which actually lustrous. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. But it doesn't mean that we have free products. It's gonna face me, okay? There's also a note na sa loob, ang cute. May nakasulat na sa loob po ang ibang product kasama na din po ang free. <laughs> right after that. We all know the collection. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. We all know what it looks like. It's all over social media. There are like mixed reviews. They're good, they're bad, there's some okay, okay. But let's get down to business. I really want to know if it will really work on us, mga brown girls. So let's give this a try. So we all know that there is a unicorn brush. I'm actually not going to use this because I'm going to include this in the giveaway because, girl, I don't want to give out dirty brushes because we don't want to have eye infection. So this is the unicorn brush. There's nothing special about it. I mean, everybody, we, we've seen unicorn brushes. It's not something new in the makeup industry. But I you guys, when you have this on your hand, it feels very luxurious. It's heavy, which not bad, huh? So these brushes I'm going to put in the side because I'm not going to use that because I have my own brushes that I personally like that I can create a look. So I'm just going to put that on the side and we'll include that on the giveaway. Now, mentioning the prices here again, I think I forgot to mention the prices because I got carried away with the brush. I'm going to be distracted. Bronze highlighting uh, palette costs 1,499 pesos. That's actually pretty pricey for a drugstore brand. And we have here the Lustrous uh, Lip and Cheek is for 399 pesos. The eyeshadow was 799 pesos, which is, she's more on the bougie side. Actually, to be honest, when I'm looking at BYS products, when it comes to pricing wise, when I look at their products, even without Nadine's name, they're kind of pricey actually. 
So I wouldn't blame Nadine for it because even though Nadine wasn't, you know, collaborating with uh, BYS, their price is expensive. Inside the box comes here, obviously, the stuff, and then you can actually lift this up. Oh my god, this is kind of hard. And then there are the extra products here, but I mean, let's not get into that because that's just for the giveaway. So I'm just gonna show that later. Alright, so let's actually get to swatching. Let's actually start with the eyeshadow. I got the palette Calypso. Actually, when I looked, there were like two palettes, I think. Yeah, two. I actually like this one because it has deeper colors when I'm looking at the picture. The other one was kind of light, so I mean, I don't normally use colors like that. I really like the packaging. It looks very luxurious. Anything that's shiny and gold, sign me up, girl. <laughs> Okay, so let's actually give this one a try. Actually, guys, educate me nga sa comments. Um, is Lustrous a brand or it's just a collaboration that's with Nadine and BYS? For me lang ha, I think it's a brand because why does Lustrous have their own Instagram page, have their own Facebook page, right? May will Nadine have more products in the future? Actually, you know what? I'm hoping one day magagawa siya ng lipstick para sa mga morenas, no? Like, Nadine, can you make a lipstick for us? Brown lips, dark skin. Thank you so much. Sugar, I'm struggling to open this up. So this comes with five colors. So you have here a dark brown, a burgundy color. They have a smell to it. You have here like a peachy color, and then you have like a light pink color here, and a light pearly color. Actually, um, they're all shimmers. You know what? You know what this palette is missing? It needs one matte color. Like a matte orange can complement all of this as a transition color, but since I have the bronzer, I'll be using that as a transition color. So before that, let's give it a swatch test if it's nice. They even come with a brush here. There's a brush inside, but I normally don't use brushes like this, so I'm just gonna put it on the side. So let's give this one a swatch. So I'm gonna start here with the lightest color. Ooh. <laughs> she's she's a bit chalky. Medyo may mga buo buo, but you just have to blend it. She's a bit chunk. The light one is a bit chunky. Let's try the other shades. This type of eyeshadow, you have to blend this like crazy. Because if you don't blend this properly, may mga buo buo sa mata mo. Nagmumukha mo ta, girl. <laughs> Moving on to the next shade, there is this light pink here. Let's give this a swatch here, like a one, two. Ooh, like when I'm looking at my fingers, it's kind of chunky. Let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this one here. So, ooh, okay. Yep, there are some bits and pieces. She's a bit chunky and a bit powdery. Let's try this deep color right here. So, let's see. Actually, maganda yung deep. See? This one swatched beautifully. So, you, I don't know. Maybe it's just the light colors. But this color is beautiful. Wow, this is gorgeous. Damn, this one's pretty. I like this one. Let's try. Oh my god, you know what? I'm actually drawn to this color. Let's give this a, like, a one, two swipe here. Let's just swipe this one right here. The deeper colors are coming out real good. And let's actually get this deeper brown color. Let's watch her here. The brown one also turned out really good. I'm looking at the eyeshadows. The lighter colors are a bit... I actually call it chalky. Because it's like chalk. But, it's a, but some people call it chunky. So that's what it looks like. It's chunky. It's a whole eyeshadow. But the deeper shades, I really love. The colors are gorgeous. Burgundy, she swatched beautifully. But there's a bit of chunkiness in there and then the brown it, the cocoa brown like oh my god that's so pretty but there's a little 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 like a teeny 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 um chunky in there like you guys i actually think that this would just be good for like the lids but making a full look this can be hard to work with because the fact that it's chunky marami tong fallouts so yeah let's try the bronzer palette you know what guys, a lot of people said that the bronzer is good. I haven't seen reviews yet though, like as dark as me. So I just hope that this would work on me. So really, I literally had to cut the plastic off because ang hirap niya buksan, I might break a nail. So it comes with three highlights. Then you have two bronzers. So let's actually swatch the highlighters first. I'm gonna take the first one. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's a bit chalky. You can see there's like, there's like chunks in there. Like, the pigment is good, 
but she's kind of chalky like you have to blend it so we're gonna try the iridescent color oh my god you see that it's not creamy it's just it's not even powdery it's just it's like flakes it's like flakes of highlight yeah still the same it's like a light it has like a light pink sheen to it but girl she is so chunky very chunky shock chunky corned beef well, let's try the mustard color right here this one's nice whoa this one is not chunky oh well this one's watched beautifully this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's silky, it's smooth. Like, I wish, I just wish that the, these two would, like, emulate this formula. Because this, these, the lighter ones are very, very chunky and it almost looks like flakes. But this one is so buttery. I can, like, literally dip my finger here and it feels like I'm, it feels so similar to, like, high-end highlighters. See? It, it's swatched beautifully. Like, if I'm gonna compare, look. Let's compare, ha. Huh? You can like see agad. Look, parang may mga buo -buo. And then I'm gonna swatch this here. This one. See, parang siya may mga buo -buo, Pero tinan yung, yung mustard yellow. It looks so gorgeous. It almost looks like the Fenty highlighter, but a bit darker. Try this one. This is the bronzer swatch. I'm actually gonna try swatching the deeper color right now. I don't know if it's picking up on cam. It looks, I can see it. I don't know if it's picking up on cam though, but I can, in person, it's there. This actually looks like my contour shade because it doesn't look great. It has a little bit of warmth. I wouldn't consider this my bronzing shade. It's actually like my contour shade. So let's see. It's like, it's like when I put a bronzer and my contour together, it comes out this color. So I actually like it. But again, it's a bit chunky. So we'll actually work with it. Let's give that a try. So that's what it looks like. So we have a mascara. Good thing it's black because I think they have like a blue mascara. So we have a lip tint here. This is um, number one raw. It's actually a brown lip tint, brownie red brown lip tint. I'm not sure. So, but we'll still try it anyways. And then we have here a natural brown. Uh, just like right off the bat, I'm looking at this. It looks like a light brown. Um, this wouldn't work on my hair color but we'll give this still a try it looks kind of light brown but we're actually gonna give her a try first and i'm gonna actually give you some reference what eyebrow products i use in terms of color I'll actually give this one a swatch real quick so i'm actually gonna show you some reference when it comes to eyebrows what i use because this is kind of warm this is just for reference um so one of my favorite uh brow products that that comes in a pomade just like the bys is the Anastasia Dark Brown. So this is what it looks like next to it. There you go. It's a bit darker than BYS and this looks more cool tone, more gray tone. BYS looks kind of bit red and brown, which would work if you have blonde hair or red hair. Or this would actually work if you have brunette hair. But for black hair, I don't think it would be that flattering. But we'll still give her a try. This is also for reference. I also use this eyebrow pencil. This is from Miniso. And and this is so cheap. Miniso in 01 on the very top. So you can see the color-wise. It's more cool tone, more gray. And it works for black hair. But BYS, she's a bit red. <laughs> Red-brown. on. She's kind of warm. So this would really work if you have brown hair or if you have blonde hair let's see if i can achieve nadine lustrous brows before i apply the makeup i expect ko lang na tatlo lang naman yung expectations ko dito sa mga products na to gusto ko maging kasing ganda ko si nadine yung ano mo yung gandang nadine hindi yung uh, gandang nadine <laughs> tapos number two gusto ko maging sobrang shimmer na shimmer yung face ko yung gusto ko katulad ng career ni nadine yung sobrang shimmer na shimmer di ba nag achieve lang siya Saka gusto ko after this meron din ako sarili kong james reed charot <laughs> Huh. Huh. 
Wait, let me actually get another brush. I am shook. Wait, wait a minute. You know what? Actually, I was really expecting that it won't work for me because it looks kind of red in the pot. But when it gets on my eyebrows, it looks it looks actually nice. It's softer. Huh. Um, if there's only one thing that I don't like about the pomade, it's kind of soft. So when you're working with this, you have to be very, very cautious because it's very, very waxy. Maybe because I know it worked. Maybe it worked on me because I have dark skin. So the fact that my skin is dark, it complemented the color. I don't know, man. Because there are some reviews I saw. Because they're not putting it. It looks red on them. Yes, it really looks red. But mine it looks nice. So girl, if you're brown, this is meant for us, girl. Oh my god. I actually like to do my brows first before my foundation and eyeshadow, just so that when I fall out, at least I can just clean it out. So yeah. So let's try the bra first. In terms of color, when it comes to the bra product, I love it. Like, it's crazy. It says natural brown. It looks red on other people, but me, if you have dark skin, I guess because we have brown skin, so it cancel out your redness. So for me, it worked. I don't see any complaints. If it looks kind of warm, it doesn't look obvious in person. Maybe it camera it is, but in person, it doesn't look obvious. In terms of like the formula of the eyebrow, my only complaint is it's kind of it's actually very waxy. So when you're working with it, you have to be very careful when you're applying and blending it. You have to work slowly because if you work like girl, I'm getting patchy patchy and girl because it's so waxy and very slippery. Before I try the eyeshadow, I want to prime my eyes because I want to I want to actually give this a fair shot. Hindi po kaya tinipara ng review ko ng product. Hindi ka gagamit na magandang primer or concealer. I mean, you have to give the product a fair chance. Let's just see. Because I see people na parang dinadiretso nila sa mata nila and they're saying, oh, it doesn't work. I mean, you haven't even gave the product a fair chance. Let's give it first a chance. If it sucks, then it sucks, okay? Let's give this a try first with concealer. So this is Kylie Jenner concealer. This is in the shade Amber, if you, if you guys are interested. And if you have my skin color and planning to get the Kylie concealer, this is in Amber. So I'm just gonna conceal my eyelids just so that we can get the full pigment of the product. I'm just gonna blend this here. All right, now that we got the concealer on our eyelids, I have these shadow shields, so I'm actually gonna put this under my eye, just so that how many, how much fallout can this pick up? Because if there's no fallout, then amazing. But if there's so many fallout, then, whew, that's sad. So let's put this under under eyes. Pan po natin the fact na puyat tayo. Na mamaga yun mata natin sa kakaiyak dahil sa lalaki na naloko sa yak, besh. Balak araw din magkaka James Street din tayo. Charat. You're wondering, um, why do you need a transition color? The reason why you need a transition color when you're doing your eyeshadow, kasi you want that fade. Eh. So before putting a darker eyeshadow, you want to put a lighter eyeshadow, then get darker, then darker. That's the misconceptions of people when they're trying to do a smoky eye. They put a darker color first on their eyelid, then they try to blend it out. You have to layer it. Eh. You have to put like you actually have to layer it. Like you have to start first with the lighter color, then getting darker, then getting darker until you get that smoky effect. So yeah. I'm actually starting with the lighter color. Take the darker color right now. Ooh, girl, you can see the fallout, the kickback. Ooh, girl, she's she's very powdery, y'all. When it comes to my eyes, I'm not complaining that this is not super pigmented because hello, this is a bronzer. This is not meant for an eyeshadow. Not expecting this to be pigmented, but I just need a, tr a transition color just so that I can. I just need a transition color just so that I can like blend the shadows together with ease. So at this point, I'm doing voiceover just so that um, I can describe the performance of this eyeshadow. I don't want to do this in the video because it's gonna take so much time. But as you can see on the shadow shield, just applying that brown color, there's a lot of fallout in the shadow shield. So for its price for $7.99, I think you can get a palette that has more shimmers, more mattes, more transition colors, and more textures. So that's my thoughts about the eyeshadow. I mean, there's not nothing much to describe here because I mean, I showed you the swatches already. So yeah, if you're a fan of Nadine, by all means, get this palette. But if you're a makeup artist who wants a product that you know is very productive and can save some time, then I wouldn't recommend this to you. But she performed not the best, but she's okay on the eyes. Either way, it's still a. So you can see here in the shadow shield, 
medyo marami yung fallout niya. So, I do suggest if you're gonna be using this, don't have shadow shield, guys. You can, alam niyo ba ako, sticky notes? You can actually use that for covering, para kunyari pang catch ng fallout, yung mga sticky post-it notes, if you don't have these. But you can see, oh, marami siyang fallout. You can see here's the shadow shield. Marami siya na pick up na fallout. So, I do suggest if you're gonna use this eyeshadow, you can like dampen the brush. But overall, this is a beautiful eyeshadow look. But it takes a lot of work. And you have to put a lot of work into it when it comes to blending because she is very chunky and then she's very chunky at the same time she's very very powdery sha so you have to dampen your brush to get the pigment and I'm gonna do my foundation off cam and then we'll do the whole shebang so yeah so looking for a reason to use this color because it's so pretty so let's give that a try You guys so now let's actually try the mascara if there's anything special about it i personally think that all mascaras are the same depending on the formula but just a tip you guys if ever you're gonna buy or have a new mascara always clean the wand first before using it because before you put mascara on you always want to curl your lashes curl okay let's try the mascara oh girl whoa that's thick hold on Oh, she has this one dispersed too much product. Just being 100% honest, I had to switch out the mascara because the mascara distributes too much product on the wand. Wherein, when it gets to the lashes, it, it becomes very, very clumpy. Just like hair, um, it's just that the mascara is very, very watery. Imagine the ends of your hair na nababasa with water. Diba parang nagiging very clumpy, like parang two strands lang because it's very very watery. This one is very watery and very thick to the point that when it gets to your lashes it looks clumpy. Unlike this one, it's separating my lashes properly. Just unfortunately, the mascara is a no-go for me because it's just too wet. I even tried giving it a chance where I actually blotted the wand before putting it in my eye and hindi talaga siya. It just it's just too thick and it's too emollient. It's almost like a gel. So that's why my lashes is not looking cute. So, the mascara, I'm sorry, lustrous, I tried, I, I gave you a chance, but it, <laughs> okay. But yeah, we're gonna move on to the highlight and bronzer. So, I'm back, you guys, so I'm gonna try the bronzing and highlighting palette. So, this is the shade, and you know, it's like super, super powdery, like, the fallout is all over the place. I have two brushes in here, we're gonna use this one as for bronzing, and then we're gonna use this for contouring the face. Let's see, okay? is very very sheer which I'm, I'm not mad at it because I don't like a very pigmented bronzer since I am very tan myself so I don't need a lot that's actually really pretty we're gonna take the other brush this is the angle this is an angle contour brush I know they didn't claim this as a contouring brush but a bronzing brush but I just hope this is dark enough for contour because my problem when it comes to contour is Sometimes it looks gray on me, but the fact that it looks a little bit red, I hope it does a good job in contouring. Let's see. So I can use, hopefully I can use this one. Let's see if she's doing the job well. Oh wow, okay. Oh, okay. You know what, you guys? I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, she is so chiseled. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so. Wow, okay. Oh my gosh, I like it. Can Am I allowed to say that I like this? I'm not paid to say that I like it, okay? I mean, I, I literally spent money on this, but oh my gosh, I like it. It's so weird. Okay. So the darker shade is nice. I don't contour my forehead that much because I don't have a big forehead. No, I was actually expecting that I would hate the bronzer and then the contour, um, the contour colors. But you know what? I actually like it. It looks, it looks like I'm contoured and it looks like I'm bronzed. It doesn't look like because I have this problem whenever I have contour palettes or contour kits. Sometimes it looks so good in the pan like I think I usually think it's oh my god It's perfect for me. It would look like I can like it would look like a really good contour shade But then when it gets on my skin, it looks like mud, but this one looks like my skin 
which is enhanced and it's chiseled in the right places and it doesn't look like mud. You know what? I like the contour colors. If you're darker, if you're dark skin, but I don't think this would work for you. Lighter than me, my brown girls kitchen. I'm lustrous for us at curl. My personal preference, I don't normally use colors like this when it comes to um when it comes to highlighting, I normally use bronzy or deeper colors or copper colors. So I, I'm more drawn into this. So let's actually see. So let's actually go ahead and try if this is blinding. Let's see. So I have here my highlight. It's actually not a highlighting brush. This is the Jessup. This is tapered blending brush. It's actually a blending brush. I'm going to use this as a highlighter brush. So let's get, tap off the excess and let's give this one a try. Let's see if Nadine is right. If she can blind off the haters. Okay. Sa mga nagbabasyan kay Nadine Para sa inyo to, charot <laughs> Anyways, let's give this one a try This reminds me of like a paler version of the Fenty highlighter But it's not that blinding She's more on the like natural side, I'd say Mm, yeah. The highlighter, I've seen better. I've seen better than this. Highlighter, she's more of a like, okay, but she's not like a, oh my god, oh, 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 oh. So you know what, you guys? This one came in the Lustrous box. This is in the shade Raw. This is like a brown lip and cheek tint. And then we also have Vermilion. I have one Vermilion that's for free, and I actually purchased one vermilion i was supposed to put this on the giveaway but then lust just gave a free uh vermilion so we're actually so lucky that we can try both of these so let's give this a try vermilion this one's more of like a uh, magenta color raw. this one's the shade raw we're gonna swatch her right here so this one i would say this is brown so this one's a brownie red color you know what just for something different i want to actually wear raw but we'll try this on the lips let's actually try let's try vermilion first so let's give this one a try i wouldn't use this color on my cheeks because she's she's too dark for the cheeks actually it looks too dark for the cheeks but on the lips it's so gorgeous this is vermilion wow all right so let's try raw on the lips all right, you guys, so this is raw. Okay, so this is a full face of me trying out Nadine Lustrous, Lustrous BYS Philippines collection. What do you guys think? Comment down below. All right, you guys, so I'm going to give you my thoughts with all the products here. If this collection was actually catered to brown skin, you know what? I'm actually going to give it to them. They actually did a good job. Just that they have to improve their formulas in terms of like highlighters, eyeshadows, and the eyebrow product and, um yeah so i'm gonna be hosting a little giveaway for you guys for this giveaway i'm giving away the brush bronze and highlighting palette give away the lip color this is in the shade of vermilion eyeshadow this is the one that i use calypso i think this is calypso they don't have the name in the box like i've said i always make my giveaway super easy like super basic and so simple um so all you gotta do is just of course make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video and also don't forget to hit that bell notification button because girl you don't want to miss out any videos come on queen hit it hit it now i won't get to the next step comment down below so easy if you were a celebrity for a day and you had a collaboration with a brand what collection would you do or what makeup product would you create and why? That's interesting, right? So yeah, and also I'll be announcing the winner on my um, Instagram stories. And also guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'll be actually announcing the winners on my Instagram story. So be sure to follow me on Instagram more. Um, so yeah, um, I'll be announcing the winner on June the 5th. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous, my mother pose, okay? Bye guys! What?